Hey, my MTS crew. What's going on, y'all? I hope life is treating you well. Yes. I thank God that you wanted to come on and join Sister Pam and I. Yes. Say, hey, Sister hey. Pam. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> y'all, we got a treat for y'all today. We're yes. going to do our Neptune sandwich. It's really good. And, and, and we tried to do it as light as yes. we can. Sometimes we can't do things as light. Yes. But, you know, we're still maintaining and mm -hmm. we're still on our weight loss journey. We'll do an update on that, you know, soon. Mm -hmm. Yes. But let's get the prayer in, y'all. We got to pray. We got to. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we yes. come before you as humble as we know how. Yes. We thank you, God, for our MTS crew. We thank you for what you're going to do for us yes. and what you are going to do for them, for them. And God, I ask you to just help them, God, to, yes. to, to put a hedge of protection yes. around them and their family. Yes. MTS crew, anything that you have need of, speak it. Speak to the mountain. You have to speak things into existence existence yes. that's, right. that's right you have to speak things into existence so you know don't try not to be negative no. even with all of this going on with mm -hmm. us you know we see it with our natural eye but we have got to get ourselves together and we got to ask God for help so I'm speaking things that's not in my life as though they were yes. oh amen amen amen, amen. amen. y'all we're gonna do um some uh, seared salmon and this is just some um, I tried to get the sandwich size and um, this is just the thin sandwich size uh, salmon that we're going to use and we're also going to do some shrimp with that it's good she loves shrimp but before we get uh, the, the salmon on the stove I think we're going to go ahead and make the, um, you want to cut this mm -hmm. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, get the Neptune um, uh, sauce so it'll be kind of chilled and in the refrigerator. And y'all, we have a little mini food processor that we're going to use. And this is what we're going to put in there. Yeah, I told you we were going to try to go light. Bam. So this is sour cream. I put about three tablespoons of sour cream in this little processor. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. And we have some cream cheese with chives so I'm going to use about two I don't want to overfill the little thing <laughs> and there yes we are oh you need to be watching this don't you Y'all, we're going to use about, let's say, a tablespoon of spicy brown mustard. I've made this sauce before, and it is delicious. Can I have some dill? Yes, you can. Okay. We're going to use uh, some dill, maybe about... A half a teaspoon of dill is going in here. About a half a teaspoon, y'all. Okay. Capers. May I have another spoon, sis? And, ooh. Hey, I put that on there tight. <laughs> I don't think that's going to fit. We're going to need a teaspoon. Capers is, is like sour, like a dill pickle. I love capers, y'all. So, and they're strong too. So, we'll do about that many of them. We're going to add that in there. A 
squeeze a half of a fresh lemon. Sister has got the uh, seeds out. Oh, oh, I saw one. <laughs> miss one. Uh huh. She missed one, y'all. <laughs> so, just gonna put that in there. Yeah. You don't have to use salt, it's optional. But two pinches of salt, pepper. About a pinch of pepper. Okay. And this is how we make our Neptune's uh, sauce. Hmm? It's not a way on it. I'm going to let sister put this on here because she used to this more than I am. I haven't used it in a long time. Okay. Okay. Sister. <laughs> Okay. Let's pulse it. We want to get those paper. Let's kind of scrape from around and make sure we got everything. Okay. Oh, I forgot I should have took this at first. But y'all, this sauce is so good. Let's hold on to that. Don't put that there. This is how it looks. And this is the sauce for fish. I love this recipe. It's good and refreshing. But it calls for a tablespoon full of white wine. We omitted the white wine, y'all. I didn't think a tablespoon would hurt you, but I don't have the white wine. I got some peach and that won't go. Okay. You want to taste it? Yeah. Hot dog, y'all. That is delicious. It is. With that spicy Ooh, mustard yes. in there. That brings like a flavor. Yeah, it's it's real, it's tangy, mm -hmm. and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you really can't see, but the mustard makes it yellow. So we're going to refrigerate that in a minute. Now we're going to go ahead and hmm. yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and season our fish and get ready to take it over to the stove. Take it to the stove. Take it to the stove. Okay. 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 Sorry, y'all. Okay. I'm going to lay my fish on the cutting board. Do you have a paper towel? Mm -hmm. And always, y'all, patch your fish dry. You need it to be dry. Mm -hmm. 
you don't want water going everywhere. Okay, y'all. We're going to use, this is the smoked paprika. So we're going to use smoked paprika on this. Okay. And she's already put a little dill in there. Let me pepper. Give me the lemon pepper. So, yes. And we're going to uh, season our shrimp with the same thing. Maybe about a tablespoon full of uh, lemon pepper. Okay. Salt and pepper. Oh. Why you didn't tell me since you put all this stuff in there? You should have told me. She I'm didn't sorry. tell me she I put all this stuff in there. there. No, she yeah. did not tell me, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. That she put phone. all this stuff in. I'm looking for stuff. Okay. So we got um, dill, dill, salt, mm -hmm. pepper, smoked paprika. What else? Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. And it's like a rub, y'all. This is also, if you want to crank the grill up, you can crank the grill up. Put this on the grill. Because this is like a rub. So, this is, we took the skin off of this. Okay, that's ready for the oven. Let me see that little bone right there. Okay. Here's the, these shrimps are done. We're just going to warm them up some. Squeeze a little lemon juice on these. You can take that over to the stove, sis. Okay. You don't put as much seasoning on these because you don't want this seasoning to overpower. So we're going to kind of sear these a little bit. Let me see that oil so I can show them that. Okay. Got parsley. And you know we're going to use our 100% uh, grape seed oil in this. Yeah, I'm going to be bringing y'all some regular dishes because everybody in my household is really not on a cutback. So they've been asking me to uh, make some chicken and dumplings, so I'm gonna have to make some. Open it. Okay, just put a little parsley. Bam, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we're going to put this sandwich together. We're going to make us something to drink, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we're going to go ahead and sear the salmon. I put my oil in the pan already, and we just want to sear these. And I love this oil. It's not saturated fast. This oil is from a plant, um, um, a vegetable. So I love this oil. I'm trying to keep away from a whole lot of unsaturated fats. And, you know, sometimes you can't get away from it. But the main thing I would say if you're on a weight loss journey, if you cut out the Cokes and the sodas and, and cut out a whole lot of uh, 
sweets and candy and just do the best that you can. And that's exactly what we are doing. Cook a little bit more. Turn it over. So y'all, we we are really trying. Um, sometimes you have that sweet craving. Um, that's the reason that I try to do some creative desserts to help me out when I have that craving. Because y'all, we are human. We ain't arrived yet. So, you know, we're trying to get there. So, we're striving to get this way off. And um, we want to be healthy. Okay. These are really thin. So, these are not like the, the bigger pieces of salmon. Because when we're doing this sandwich, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the bread that we're gonna do it on. It's really uh, thin bread, so I have uh, two more pieces to sear. So I'm gonna go on and finish with these, and then I'll be back. We're gonna put the shrimp on. Okay, y'all, we going in with the shrimp. These shrimp were already pink, so when they're pink, that means that they're already done. But I like to saute my shrimps a little bit when I'm making this sandwich. They've already been peeled. I just like them because they are so uh, so quick. And you don't have to worry about, uh, these were a frozen shrimp. We didn't buy the fresh ones, but these are good enough for this sandwich, I think. Remember, they basically just need to be sort of warmed up. Okay? A little bit more, y'all. Then we're going to put this together. Okay, y'all. The salmon is ready. Thank you, pardon. The shrimp is ready. And we're ready to put this Neptune salad together. Little Mermaid Under the Sea, y'all. Yes. All right, she's a high five, high five, high five. Okay, y'all, we ready to put it together. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do this, y'all. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. This is the we didn't we don't buy the the big uh, hamburger buns. We buy the thin buns, and these buns are like 110 calories. These are really thin. Y'all, y'all can use whatever y'all want to. This is just us. We trying to cut back whenever and wherever we can. So we love this sandwich, so we're gonna try these buns, okay? Okay. These are the buns, y'all. Flatbread buns. First, I want to put a little of our sauce down. Spread it around like you do mayo. But it tastes, tastes much better than mayo, y'all. Okay. You know, I told y'all I like butter lettuce. For some reason, um, iceberg lettuce just doesn't sit mm -hmm. well with me. So I'm going to try the butter lettuce.
okay? We're gonna put two tomatoes on the bottom. Why not three tomatoes on the bottom? We're gonna put a purple onion on there. Purple onion, y'all. It's optional, optional, optional. Purple onion on there. Then we're going to put our salmon on there. You have something I can wash my hand with. And I put a little bit more of this good dressing on there. I love the capers in here, y'all. A little mm -hmm. bit more. A little bit more butter lettuce, y'all. I'm sorry. I got to have it. Okay. Ooh, we're going to put our shrimp on this. Put as many as you want. We're going to put a squig of spicy mustard on that. We're building this sandwich, y'all. Another piece of um, salmon on there. We're going to close this up. You know how you press down like when you at grandmama house? Press that sandwich down. <laughs> press it down, y'all. Press it down. Okay. Then we're going to try to cut into this. Cut, cut, cut. All right. Then we're going to place it. Here it is, y'all. Mm. This is our Neptune salad sandwich. And we're going to place it on our plate like so. Y'all, we ain't losing no shrimp. We ain't losing nothing. No, we're not going to lose none of that. Got two fixes for now. We're not going to lose any of that. We're going to put us two dill pickles. Give me the chips, sis. Those are those, um, those are kosher dill pickles. These are really, really crunchy and really good. Love them. Vegetable chips. We love those. You know, you got to have some chips sometimes. So, this is our substitute right here. Chips. And usually we'll have an olive to pop on top of this. But this is our Neptune sandwich. It was good. Really, really yeah. delicious. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to eat into this until we make our drink. We got to have something to drink because I'm thirsty, y'all. Okay, be right back. Okay, y'all, we're going to eat our sandwich, but we're going to have something to drink. Since we live in Georgia and we can sit outside Georgia, with Georgia peach. peach. <laughs> yes. We're gonna do, and we're gonna do a good peach dessert for you next. But we always use this. This is Bailey's Daily's Daily's peach cocktail 
drink, non-alcoholic, but this right here mixes well when you want to have a, a, a something good and cold and you have it mixed, this is good. Okay. I have our glasses here. We're gonna pour this first. This is really flavorful, y'all. Very flavorful. And we're gonna let uh -oh, we're gonna let that seep down. Let that seep down a little bit, y'all. Then we're going to put us some cranberry juice. Sister, can I have a little more ice in this one? Y'all, we mix everything with cranberry juice, but this is really good if you're, you know, having a party, you know, non-alcoholic, because like I said, we don't drink, but, you know, you can use this, and they got different flavors, and they have the one like the cream of cocoa, and that's like a chocolate if you want to use it, and um, maybe a, a iced coffee, good, y'all. And y'all know, bang, my cranberry juice got to have it. Let's put a little bit in there. I'm going to put my fork or something I can stir. And I'm going to stir this just a little bit. This one got a little water down in there, but that's okay, y'all. We good. Okay. And as we drink it down, y'all, it's going to be good. We're going to add more cranberry juice to our thing. Mm, that's good. That's delicious. I'm gonna hurt myself. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> mm, love it. Y'all got to try this. This will make any drink taste good. This is delicious. And also, you can use this on a with a frozen drink if you want to just crush some um crush some ice up and um, put this daily in there. Oh. Mm. And that peach is coming through there. It's coming through, y'all. It's coming through. Mm. And sister and I, we always share a plate. Yes. This is our Neptune plate. And I'm going to see if I grab this without it falling apart. Get on good ingredients now. Huh? Get on good ingredients now. Uh -uh. You get yours. Mm -hmm. I got mine. <laughs> I'm going to take the plate over there and grab it. Yeah. Fish it out of the sea, sister. Fish it out of the sea. Mm. No problem. We might not finish this, y'all, but I'm going to take mm. a bite. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. That's real good. I love the bread. Mm -hmm. I forgot to take the toothpick out. So I stuck myself. You okay? I'm alright. Um, mm -hmm. 
Sometimes I do the vegetable cream too, but this time we use the chive, onion and chive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, dill weed, lemon juice, sour cream. Let me put a little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, lemon. Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper, lemon. And if you want a sweeter taste, if you want a sweeter taste, you can go ahead and uh, put you a little sugar in there, but we decided not to do that. Mm -hmm. The salt is good. Mm -hmm. Look at the shrimp. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm gonna make you one. You want a sandwich? Mm. Okay. They're doing sign language. I don't know what that means. Mm. <laughs> That's what he's like. What does that mean? I don't really want to learn sign language, but. Don't mm -hmm. that soul language he was just doing. Y'all, this one's good. Can't stop eating. Can't stop eating. I'm gonna stop and cut this short. Write my drink. And the peach is showing out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very refreshing. Mm. Did I say cheese? Mm. Did I say cheese? Mm. Cheese. I need to look at my cream. Yum. Be good to yourself. And if you be good to yourself, you have no other choice. 
but to be good to others. And remember, speak things that's not into existence and watch God change things, okay? Oh, yeah. Speak over your finances, your health, your children, your mate. Yes. Just speak over it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. I'll be doing that.